Well going everybody. Yeah man, it's Mr. Garthwood here again. And we're gonna do a keep pure mathematics unit one question from module one of the syllabus, right? That is basic algebra and functions. And here I have a question which I created for you, which involves logarithm and thirds. Alright. And it says to show that the logarithm of square root six plus square root two minus the logarithm of square root six minus square root two is equal to the logarithm of two plus the square root of three okay now it is important to know that these are logarithms to the base 10 right you know that once you don't see the base it means that we have the common logarithm which is to base 10 right good so let's just start our solution here all right we're going to start our solution so here I have the logarithm of the square root of six plus the square root of two minus the logarithm of square root six minus square root two. Okay, great. And I want to show that it is equal to the logarithm of two plus the square root of three. Good. Now, we have two logarithms here to the base 10 and we are subtracting here all right so it means that we're going to have to use the quotient law of logarithms all right so recall if i have the logarithm of a minus the logarithm of b all right then that is going to be equal to the logarithm of we divide the arguments of the logs, so that's a divided by b. Okay, you should recall the quotient rule or the quotient law, rather. All right, the quotient law of logarithms. Great, so let us use that rule now. All right, or that law. So we're going to have the logarithm of, we're going to have the logarithm of square root 6 plus the square root of two, that is going to be my numerator. And in the denominator, I'm gonna have the square root of six minus the square root of two, all right? So that is using the quotient law. Great. I just now simplify this now. How are we gonna simplify this logarithm? All right, you realize now we have a fraction as the argument of the logarithm and we need to show that the argument of the log is two plus the square root of three, right? So in order to show that this logarithm here is equal to the logarithm of two plus root three, it means that I will have to rationalize, all right? Let's rationalize the denominator. So we're gonna have the square root of six plus the square root of two, okay? divided by all right we're gonna have the square root of six plus the square root of two divided by the square root of six minus the square root of two and we're going to multiply that by the conjugate of the denominator all right so just to recall here the conjugate of the third all right the conjugate third if you have the square root of a minus the square root of b, then the conjugate, the conjugate of that is the square root of a. You change the sign from negative to positive plus the square root of b, right? So that is the, con the conjugate, third. So the conjugate of square root six minus square root two is the square root of six plus the square root of two. All right? And I'm also going to divide by the same thing, which is square root 6 plus square root 2. Okay? Now you recognize that when I multiply by this term here, what I'm really doing is multiplying by 1. So effectively, I'm not really changing anything. All right? I'm not changing anything here. So I can now proceed. All right? So the logarithm of, we're going to, multiply the numerators so that's going to be square root six plus square root two times the square root six plus square root two 
So we're going to have square root of 6 plus the square root of 2, okay, multiplied by the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2. Or you could just write the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all squared. That is the same thing, right? Great. And in the denominator, we have the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 being multiplied with the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2. Okay? So that is what we have. Let us now expand the brackets here. Okay? So we're going to have the logarithm of. If I expand the numerator, all right, I'm going to have the square root of 6 times the square root of 6. So that's going to give me. 6. Okay, so you should know as well. So let's put a recall here. You should know that the square root of a multiplied by the square root of a is going to give us a. Right? Once you have the same number under the square root, okay, and you're multiplying them, you're going to get back that same number under the root. Okay, so square root 6 times square root 6 is 6. I'm now going to multiply the square root of 6 by the square root of 2. Okay, that is going to give me positive the square root of 12. How did I get that? Well, recall that if you have the square root of a multiplied by the square root of b, we can write it as the square root of a multiplied by b. So if I have the square root of 6 multiplied by the square root of 2, then I can just multiply the 6 and the 2 under the root, and I have the square root of 12. All right? Good. I'm now going to multiply the square root of 2 here by the square root of 6, okay? Which will again give me the square root of 12. I'm going to multiply the square root of 2 by the square root of 2, which will give me a plus 2 here, okay? So that is going to be my numerator of the fraction. And for the denominator now, let us expand. So if you recognize what we have in the denominator is something of this form. So we have the square root of A minus the square root of B multiplied by the square root of A plus the square root of B. Right, that's the form that we have it in, in the denominator there. Okay, so what does that mean now? It means that whenever, whenever we have this, right, and we're multiplying, this can be written as A, all right, minus B. Okay, A minus B. So what I'm saying here is that for the denominator, when I multiply, what I'm going to have is 6 minus 2. Okay? You could spend the time and expand out the brackets, but that is just wasting time, right? Because we know that one is a plus here in the middle and the other is a minus. So it's going to be A minus B. Okay? Great. Let us now simplify. So this is now equal to the logarithm of 6 plus 2, that's 8, right? Plus the square root of 12 plus the square root of 12, that's 2 root 12, all right? So that's what we have in the numerator. And in the denominator now, what do I have? I have 6 minus 2, which is going to give me 4. Great. Now, this is what we have. All right, let us simplify that further. What can I do with the square root of 12 here? All right, the square root of 12. The square root of 12 can be written as the square root of 4 times 3, right? The square root of 4 times 3. So we know that from the rule above, we can write this as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3 which will give me the square root of 12 as root 4, which is 2, multiplied by root 3. All right? So we can write the square root of 12 as 2 root 3. Let's just write that in here. So this is now equal to the logarithm 
of eight plus two times two root three, all right? Two root three. And we are dividing that by four. Great. So this is now equal to the logarithm of what? Now, if you recognize, we can divide through by four, all right? We can divide through by four. So let us do that. So we're gonna say eight over four plus two times two root three, that's gonna be four root three. All right, I'm dividing by four, okay? So you should remember your fractions, which says that if I have A plus B over C, that can be written as A over C plus B over C. All right, so I can split the fraction up like that. Okay, so let's just now simplify further. So clearly we see that the force here will cancel out, okay? And the four here into itself is one, four into eight, that's two, all right? So what do we have now? We have the logarithm of two plus the square root of three. And that is what they had access to show, right? Yes, the logarithm of two plus the square root of three. All right, that's what they wanted us to show. So we can now come back down here and say shown. All right, shown. Great. And that is our solution to this question here, which involves logarithm and thirds. Okay. I hope that it was helpful. And if it was, please ensure to like up the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay. And with that being said, I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and statistics. I thank you for joining.